I am loving hearing this news about your books. Tell everybody, I mean, when we, we interviewed him and I said, watch this guy, you're going to be hearing about him again and again and again, and if other people don't start producing him, I'm going to. But, um, but tell everybody what's happening for you. So um, I write young adult novels, and um, I'm a f actually a you former... You know, young adult is confusing to some people. Because that sounds like, you know, okay, but so go ahead. Um, I'm also a guidance counselor um, that I work with high school students with special needs, and is a, I'm also a former professional magician. <laughs> so um, I teach my students magic, and I use, I use a lot of this in the books. I wrote a series called The Witches of Vegas, which is about a family of witches and a vampire mentor um, who, um, sorry, uh, sorry about that, um, who hide in plain sight as magicians on the Vegas Strip. <laughs> and they run a whole show where it's actually them practicing with their magic, which is great for them, but not so great for the other magicians in Vegas. And everything comes to a head, both for the magicians of Vegas and for the, this group of witches, when, the, when someone from the vampire's past shows up into Vegas and, and causes some chaos. Um, the book was very popular, it won the Roan Award, um, since then, there were two more books in the series, Journey to New Salem. I'm sorry, sorry. Okay. Um, I, I, I'm sorry to interrupt them, but uh, tell them what the Rhone award, award is. It's very prestigious. The Rhone Award, which is recognition of novel excellence. It's an award mostly for independent authors and books that are nominated every year. They go through Indie Tale Magazine, which is a well-known magazine in the industry. And in order to be nominated for the Rhone Award, you have to get a... Um, five star or four and a half star review from them. You have to earn their crowned heart, which is like a nomination. And then it goes through a voting process where you, in each category you have to be in the top three of votes from all of the books throughout the year. And then it goes to a group of professional authors, I'm sorry, professional reviewers who determine through um, different scales the final winner. And The Witches of Vegas won in the young adult category. I'm also happy to say the sequel during New Salem is a finalist for this year. The award ceremony always takes place in October. In the film industry, if you wanted to get a, 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 a series or something onto Netflix, you'd write a script and you submit it to a, um, a, a, a reader for Netflix and they, get, and they give you what's called coverage. They cover it for you and they give you a review of it. And then that's it. But now with the Rhone Awards, you're going through like five layers of that. You know, different people and different people, and it goes to this group and then that group and then that group. I mean, that's a very prestigious thing. You, you, to make the cut, you, you've got to be really good. And you make the cut, again, and, and these other books you have. Go ahead and tell them. So Journey to New Salem is the sequel to The Witches of Vegas. Um, it's always done, it actually came out last year. The Witches of Vegas came out the year before. It's always the Rhone Awards, always one year you know, past when the books came out. And then this year, the third book, which is Gamble, which involves, which is my original story in time travel and alternate realities, came out this year. And since then, I was actually contracted through the Wild Rose Press, my publisher, for two more books, one of which I've actually submitted, the third, the fifth one, I'm in the process of writing as we speak. So, we talk about Netflix series. You're gonna see this stuff turned into a series, you are.